Okay, so our group uses electrochemistry to um, improve the interface between hard metal electrodes and soft ionically conductive tissue. And this is particularly important for applications like prosthetics or retinal implants or cochlear implants where we have a hard metal electrode that's interfacing with a soft tissue. And so the way we improve that interface is by depositing conducting polymers on the surface of the electrode. And the purpose of the conducting polymer is to reduce the impedance at the interface and thereby improve the signal transduction between the synthetic hard electrode and the biological tissue. Now because the conducting polymers are organic materials, we can also tune the chemistry and try and provide biological cues to improve cell adhesion and interactions with the electrodes and thereby also improve the communication. So this is the type of setup that we use to both deposit our films and analyze them. Um, and the way we deposit the films is electrochemically. We apply either a constant voltage or a constant current between a working electrode and a counter electrode through a solution that contains monomer and a supporting electrolyte. And upon applying this, this uh, voltage or current, the monomer in solution gets oxidized and it couples to form long polymer chains. And the polymer chains then become insoluble in the solution and precipitate on the surface of the electrode to give us a film. So then we can analyze the films in a similar way where we have a solution that doesn't contain any monomer but just the supporting electrolyte. So then if we apply a voltage from low to high and back again and we cycle through this voltage, we can see um, oxidative and reductive processes happening in the polymer film. And it gives us data that looks like this. And this is useful for us because it tells us about um, the stability of the film under different uh, electrochemical conditions and it tells us about what types of electrochemical processes are happening in the film. What we can also do is impedance spectroscopy where we apply an alternating current, an AC uh, potential to our film and look at its response over different frequencies. And this is particularly important for the type of applications we're interested in because biological signals tend to happen over fairly well-defined time scales and so we want to understand the properties of our materials at over a range of frequencies. So I'm Katie Feldman, and I am a postdoc in the Martin Lab here at uh, the Materials Department at the University of Delaware.